So then you get to North Carolina Central, you start seeing the light, but then you switch from like phys ed to like focusing on training. Right. Which means that you had to get into the sciences. Well, well the, right? the, 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 exactly, and which which were, you know, I was like, oh, I mean, kinesiology, stats. <laughs> right. Like, like I tell right. people, I think that um, being a trainer or being on that side of the field, I think people look at it as, well, that's the easy route. Oh my gosh, no. Like, I mean, you, the classes and the core and the curriculum was intense. I mean, you know, you learned it. I mean, it was, I always say it was kind of like being a doctor without having a doctor's degree. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So um, you had to really buckle down. And again, you had an HBCU, and then I'm, I'm, I'm 30 minutes from home. Right. So, so again, the dynamics were trying to stay focused. And at the end of the day, you know, at that point in time, trying to play a sport that I love, but it, it didn't work out. So the way that I even got into the field was that my sophomore season, in college, I said, you know what? This is not gonna work. So what is your plan B? Mm. And my plan B was I had a uh, individual by the name of, uh, we called him TJ. Uh, TJ was, a, was the assistant strength and conditioning coach at North Carolina Central University, uh, a white gentleman. Um, you know, it was, we start having dialogue and start having conversations and it was to the point where I started to find myself in the weight room and talking to TJ about different programs about this and that to the third, and all of a sudden, TJ became more like a, a mentor, mentor to me. Yeah. Wow, yeah. so you had the yeah. mentorship, yeah. and it kind of ushered you into a different space. Like, talk about like some of the other people that people might know that was on campus with you while you was like at NC Central, right? And like how you connected with those people. Oh like, man, I, I, my good friend, Warrior Vice. Uh, Warrior wow. Vice is, is now and a- who is he? Warrior Vice is a, 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 a renowned, uh, <laughs> Fashion designer, uh, right. I mean, for Alicia Keys, um, uh, Carrie Hilson. I mean, I mean, so many different wow. uh, celebrities. Uh, and come um, out of that. They come out of that. Not, out of, not only this central, but the HBCU scene, people don't even realize. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? But so yeah. you go through this, you on campus with these, these types of personalities. You are attempting to become one of those personalities. Right. You divert and go down this path, and then you meet someone that I eventually meet. Oh. <laughs> right? Oh, T. Reeves. T. Reeves. <laughs> who is a celebrity in his own mind. You know what I'm saying? His own right. Yeah. You know I, what I'm saying? I, I, can, never, I can never forget uh, that day I was in North Carolina and I was working at a facilities, a gym facilities um, in Cary. And, uh, and T. Reeves called me and was like, man, what are you doing? I said, man, I'm at work bored, man. Like, you know, just trying to, you know, trying to grind, trying to figure out what the next step is. And Terry was like, listen, man, I got an opportunity for you. I'm like, all right, well, you know, what's the opportunity? <laughs> like, listen, man, if you can get up here on this certain date at this certain time, wow. my job wow. that I'm at has a job, you know, interview process. And man, I think you'll be perfect for the job. And I'm like, well, well Terry, you know, you, you know what I've been doing, you know what I do, you know, what, what's the job opportunity? He said, listen, man, it, it's, it's in fitness, it's in corporate, and it's at the US Census Bureau. And I said, okay, man. I said, listen, let me just try and get my thoughts together because during that time, I was doing sales out of right. facilities. Um, again, you know, the gym was at that time from college um, and stopped playing, you know, collegiate basketball to just focusing on studies. And again, been working in the gym, you know, industry at this point in time for several years now, right. since my sophomore year in, in uh, college. I said, man, let me just figure out and see if this is what I want to do or if I want to, you know, come to the, you know, the DC area. And the crazy thing was, is before I went on that job interview, I had never, ever been to DC. Wow. So, so DC was never on my mind. Uh, you know, I'm a down south boy, so it was always, are uh, we going to Atlanta? Right, you know, right, You know, we right, going to right, Florida? Right, right. But I, it, it was never DC, and, and, and that phone call, I could say, literally changed my life. <laughs> <laughs>